found this mouse in a bottle of Elsinore beer that we bought at your beer store, eh? And we heard, like, when that happens, that uh, you get your beer free. It's in the Canadian criminal code, eh? Yeah. Like, there's legal precedent setting cases in law. What do you mean, where have I been? Where have you been? Seriously, I've only been gone from YouTube for like two weeks. You've been gone from me for like months, man. Where have you been? Yes, I know you went to Felsberg's house. I saw the videos where you talked to Gubs left. Where else? Oh, you did a couple of shows. Oh, isn't that precious? Oh, hello, my name is a Fu Manchu. That's right. The stupid nondescript guy off camera came back. Now I'm talking to him. Excuse me for a minute. You're an idiot. Okay, I'm back. You know what? You just stand over there and work the camera. Do you know what I've had to do since you've been gone? Yeah, I had to, uh, freaking hire help. Have you seen her? Oh my god, she's over there, look at her. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, stop looking at me, you got those bug eyes. Anyways, I'm sorry about the bug eyes, but... So you see what I've had to deal with since you've been gone? Plus, I, almost, I got so worried, man, I almost put up a missing poster with your face on it and put it over there next to, uh, Sam Punk's. I, I really expected you to pop up on UFC or something. I don't know what happened. Anyways, I'm glad you're back. Just man the camera and shut up. Yeah, I know, talking's not your big thing. You kind of, you're always quiet. Anyways, hello, everyone! I'm back, and I don't think any of you missed me, but here I am. Except for you, over there. I know you took some shots at me, and you missed me with every bullet so far. But you know what? Hey, I'm glad I'm back. I don't know what I'm going to be reviewing, because this idiot threw me off. You threw off my mojo, man. Mojo. Anyways, yeah, here I am. I'm back. Um, before this idiot got back, I got bored, and I got in the time machine, and I zipped off to 1983, and I watched a movie that I really liked. Because, you know, we've all got movies out there that we really like, and one of the ones that I have always been a big fan of, and it's one of my top favorite movies ever, is the following. Now, in 1983, this movie came out starring Rick Moranis and Dave Thomas, and it's called Strange Brew. And look at those guys. They look like the kind of guys I'd like to hang out with. Because we both wear hats. We all wear hats. I say both, because I count them as one guy. But anyways, yep, we all wear hats, and I love this movie. Now, this is the DVD release, and, uh, yeah, I didn't get this in 1983. I had to come back and get it here, and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Not only did this come out on DVD, but just recently, they released the following. Now, as of a week ago, and I, I think, anyways, I live in a time machine, so seriously, I've got a really bad judgment of time here. But anyways, about a week ago, Strange Brew was released for the very first time on Blu-ray, and it looks amazing. About as amazing as this, fi uh, this movie can look. I mean, it's not like Star Wars where they've, like, changed it and fixed it and did this and that, but it looks really good. Now, I was a little sad that it didn't come with a commentary, because I really wanted Dave Thomas and Rick Moranis commentary for this movie, but of course... And it's not on there. It's got the same features as on the back of the uh, DVD. So there's nothing new here. But you know what? It does look good, and I'm very happy to have it. Now, like I said, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I cannot help but laugh every time I watch it. And believe me, I've watched it a couple of dozen times since I bought it on Blu-ray. And I'm very happy with it. Now, since I saw the movie in 1983, I realized something. Hey! There's some toys from this, you know, movie, so to speak, I guess you could say, uh, that exist. So I zipped on over to 2000, and guess what? I picked them up. So today's review will be on the following! Today's review will be on the McFarlane Toys! Bob and Doug McKenzie, that's right! They made figures of the two characters from SCTV's uh, <laughs> Great White North skits. And that's right, the movie Strange Brew. Now, as you can see by the front of the package, it says nowhere on here, Strange Brew. Now, the movie is advertised a little bit on the back, but we'll get into that in a minute. Now, as you can see, they're on this big clamshell-looking packaging, or whatever, whatever this is called. I don't know, it's a big bubble. And inside you will see there's Bob McKenzie with all his awesome accessories. And check this out. This bubble is huge, man. I mean, it is super fat because it's got a lot of stuff inside there. And it is awesome. You can see his chair. You can see some boxes of beer. You can see beer. You can see backpacking. You can see donuts. And you can, of course, see Bob McKenzie. And he's awesome looking. And if you look down here, it's got a little sticker. And it says it actually includes movie audio clips. Now, there's a movie reference right there. Movie audio clips. 
Now, like I said, it doesn't advertise for Strange Brew, but this is obviously based on it by their outfits and everything else, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? They kind of wore... There's a few episodes on SCTV where they wore outfits that looked just like this one anyways. But yeah, you can pretend. It's all the same thing. It's their Great White North, you know, skits. And that's all that matters, man. But anyways, here's Bob. Now let's see who else is in the review. Because honestly, you can't have Bog McKenzie without Doug McKenzie, and here he is, Dave Thomas himself, looking very awesome indeed. Now these figures are a little older, like I said, they came out in the year 2000, so they're 16 years old, oh jeez. Man, another way to make you feel old is to look at stuff like this and go, I remember when this came out, man, this is really old though. But you know what, this looks amazing. As you can see, he comes with beers, of course, he's got some donuts there, he's got some bottle caps, which is very cool, he's got a nice chest in there, a bunch of boxes of beer, and more bottles, and blah blah blah, there's his chair. And if you look down here, it says movie audio clips, and it's got all what he says too, and that's pretty cool indeed. Now both of the backs of these figures are exactly the same, so I say we look at the back of the package, what do you say? So, here's the back of the package coming direct from the Great White North, and there you'll see. Look at that! It looks just like the set. <laughs> I mean, that is so awesome. Now, this picture does take some liberties, as I did notice. If you look there, uh, I think combined they come with eight boxes of beer. Now, if you look there, there's a lot more than eight boxes there, so that stinks. I don't know why they didn't come with that many. I mean, I think they're just little paper boxes anyways. So they should have came with more, but jeez, I mean, look. Look how they're stacked up back there. Uh, and there's something else there on the back that I did not see in the package. Now, I could have swore that one of these bottles came with the little mouse inside it. A little white mouse. And if you look really carefully on the table there, there's the mouse sitting there. Ah, uh, yeah, so I did not see the mouse in any of these packages. I thought it came with Doug, uh, but I didn't see him. But that's all right. Hopefully, you know, maybe I can find a little mouse or something to put in there. But anyways, if you look down here, it says what they say. There's their little sayings. And then over here, it says, feature film features with sound, eh? And you know what's funny is, like I said, there's, there's another thing. It says feature film reference, and then on the front, it says the movie. And, but like I said, no Strange Brew, because they didn't get the rights, I guess, to use the movie logo or anything like that. But we all know what this is from. Not really. I mean, it could be SCTV or the movie. But if you look down here at the bottom, you will see the other figures that came out around this era. And you'll see Austin Powers. Those are very cool. Those Slapshot figures are very awesome. There's the Edward Scissorhand, which is very, very cool. There's uh, Angela, I believe, or Tiffany. I don't know. I think that's Tiffany. And then over here, we've got Nitro Riders, which never really took off. And then uh, Wanda and Cyan. Uh, Cyan. Cylon. <laughs> Whatever that little baby's name was. Cyan. But anyways, yep, that's pretty cool indeed. Now, when you get both of these figures, you get a half of each of the stage and the table and stuff, and you can pop them together. So that is pretty awesome indeed. So I say we look back at the front of the package. What do you say? Back to the Great White North! So, here's the figures all displayed together, and man, oh man, like I said, these bubbles are huge, and you get a lot with each of these figures. It looks so amazing, so I cannot wait to open them. So I say we open them! Now, removing the little tray that has Bob inside of it, check that out. There's all the stuff that's still in there. Bob's still bratted down and stuff. But when you remove this little tray, some of the accessories with the bubble removed, you will see that some of them are actually stuck down to the inside of the package. That's pretty cool indeed. So that's how it holds it all into place. And that looks pretty neat indeed. Now, the other thing that this came with is a little uh, pamphlet here for Spawn.com. So let's see what it says. Now, on one side of the little brochure, it's got an advertisement for all of the figures that they make at the time. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Let's see, 100 plus figures will be available this year. Man, I miss McFarlane toys being in power the way they were back then. Oh, man, I love them. Come on, make more figures. <laughs> but anyways, that's on one side. And if you flip it over... On the other side, you will see instructions to how to put the stage together, and that is pretty cool indeed. Little ice, uh, the ice chest thing, how to put them in the chairs and stuff like that, and how their little uh, Great White North paper display thing goes together, and that is pretty cool indeed. So I say we put this, or pull this figure out and see what he came with. Oh, and for the record, if you notice the little beer bottles, it looks like they're taped down. Well, they're not. That's actually plastic over the front of them, so you don't have to worry about the little tape or anything, because it's not tape, sticking to the little stickers on the front of the labels of the beer. So those will stay on. That's pretty awesome. So, here's Bob McKenzie, played by Rick Moranis, looking very awesome indeed. Now, you'll notice that he's sitting on the stage. Well, that's because he will not stand up, because he's in a sitting position. So let's get his chair, shall we?
There! That's better! Now, this figure has barely any articulation at all. Basically, all he can do is the following. His head can turn. And his arms can go up. That's about it. I mean, he's, he doesn't do anything else. But it's mainly made, uh, you know, these old McFarland figures were basically little statues anyways. So, you know, what did you expect? Now, aside from that chair, and you're probably saying, hey, what did it come with? Well, it came with this really awesome half a stage. Now, if you look there closely, you'll see a little button. Now, underneath it, you'll notice it has a little pull tab. Now, this thing is 16 years old. Now, I'm not expecting this thing to work. But we'll pull that little tab out and see if he still talks. After a lot longer than it should have taken, because as you can see, when I went to pull the little paper thing, it ripped in half. So yeah, this half over here was still inside, and I had to unscrew it, and ah! Uh, now, I haven't tested it, but this thing is 16 years old, so I am not expecting it to work. But let's see, shall we? Okay, Bob, do you still talk? How's it going, eh? Whoa, you still do after 16 years! What else you got to say? It's a jelly. <laughs> it's a jelly. How's it going, eh? Uh, it's going pretty good. How's it going for you, Bob? So as you can see, at McFarland Toys in 2000, they used the same atomic batteries that the Batmobile ran on in the 1966 Batmobile, or Batman TV show. So, what else did it come with? Well, it came with these four boxes of beer. Now, these are just little paper inserts all folded up. There's nothing inside them, of course. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. Now, right there, it says Hosehead Beer. Now, I wish it really would have came with Hosehead, their dog. I really love that dog in that TV show, or in that movie, I should say. And, man, oh, man, I wish that was an accessory that they came with. But I guess I'll just have to settle for Hosehead Beer. And then over here, you'll see uh, Bob and Doug Beer and the McKenzie's Beer. Uh, obviously, they couldn't use actual, you know, names of beer and stuff like that. Although, is Elsa? Elsnor beer? Is that a real beer? I don't know. I don't drink beer, so I don't know if Elsnor is actually uh, a real beer or not, but I always thought that was made up for the for the movie. Can't imagine them, Elsnor, letting them use their actual beer name for that movie, but hey, I guess I would have if I owned the company. But anyways, you're probably saying, hey, what else did it come with? Well, look at there. It came with a chocolate donut. Now, it should be a jelly donut. Uh, now, maybe there's jelly in it, but that sure does look a lot like the one that uh, that Doug gave the secretary lady. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just thinking of... Uh, maybe he did came with the, uh, the black donut. I don't know. But anyways, over here, you'll see it comes with two little bottle caps. Now, those things are tiny. Now, if you're going to lose anything, it's going to be those. Man, oh, man, don't lose those. Over here, you'll see some back bacon, which on this side, it looks fine. But when you flip it over... You can see what happens after 16 years. Oh my god, that's got gangrene growing on the bottom of it. But anyways, there you go there. Now, over here you'll see it comes with four little bottles of beer, and then he came with three big bottles of beer, long neck bottles of beer. And then over here he came with a little oven, and then half his little table. Now that's pretty cool. Now this table pops together. You can see the little slots there on the side. It goes together with Doug's, and that's pretty cool. Now he also came with... Half of the Great White North sign that goes behind them for their set. And that is awesome. So anyways, I think this looks amazing. We'll look at him up close here in a second. Next! So, here's Doug McKenzie, played by Dave Thomas, out of the package and also sitting on his stage. Now, when I pulled him out, there was two things I noticed. One, his uh, feet do have articulation a little bit. It looks like they can spin a little bit. Now, I don't know if, if you spin them, they'll break off, but they do spin around a little bit. And his parka coat there is very squishy like a rubbery plastic, and that's pretty cool indeed. So let's put him in his chair, shall we? Now, speaking of articulation, the little silver part of the chair at the bottom does spin around, so that's just like a real chair. It's kind of cool. Now, as for his articulation, just like the Rick Moranis figure... His head spins and his arms go up. Now, one of the things I just noticed was, if you look, it looks like his hand's almost falling off there. It's just because it's off the joint a little bit. But, uh, yeah, his wrists do spin, too. So the Rick Moranis figure will have spinny wrists as well. So that's pretty cool indeed. Now, like all vintage McFarlane figures, these things are made to be in, like, one position, as you can see, with, like, his hand on his knee and stuff. Now, you don't have to put it that way, but you can. And then, of course, he's supposed to have a bottle in his hand. And that's pretty cool indeed. Now, you're probably saying, hey, what did he come with? Well, you already know because you saw what Bob came with. He came with half a base. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, let's see what happens when we pull that little tab out, shall we? Check it out! That one came out all in one piece! Yes! Now I don't have to unscrew it and try to get that last half out. Now let's see if it talks, shall we? Now, like I said, this thing is 16 years old. I'm not expecting it to work. So let's see. Hey, Doug, how are you? Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. I'm pushing the button. Nothing's happening. Okay, hold on. Okay, I unscrewed the little uh, battery cover and I rearranged the battery. So let's see if they work. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> it 
It looks like Dave Thomas is having some trouble talking. Yeah, his batteries are dead. Sorry about that, Doug. Now, after removing his batteries from his base, I swapped out the batteries with Bob's base, so let's see if it works now. <laughs> and there's the Great White North theme song. What else do you say, Doug? Hey, God, you hoser. And okay. that... Whoa, listen. <laughs> hey, God, you hoser. So yeah, you get the both of them talking with this one, so that makes it all worth it. That is pretty awesome indeed. Now, until I can get some replacement batteries for the other base, I'm going to leave this one, uh, this one with the batteries because I much prefer uh, Doug's talkie, you know, uh, whatever features better than the other one. So that is pretty cool indeed. Now you're probably saying, hey, what else did it come with? Well, he came with the other side of the table, so that's pretty cool. Came with this really awesome ice chest. Check that out. Mr. Evil Cheese, you need one of these for your toys. This is pretty cool indeed. I mean, it looks like real ice and everything. And you can put little beers in there. That's pretty cool. And the lid goes on there, and that is pretty awesome indeed. And then over here it came with uh, four more boxes of beer, as you can see. Just like the other ones. Exactly like the other ones. He came with four little bottles and three big bottles. He came with three little bottle caps. Again, you will lose those if you're not careful. I've almost lost them a million times already. Came with like a crawler looking thing. And then over here, a half-eaten donut. Now, when I saw the half-eaten donut, I thought it was the mouse. I was like, ah, I got the mouse. But nope, it's just a half-eaten donut. I would rather have the mouse. And then over here, you'll see the other half of the set. And that is awesome. So, there's the figure there looking very awesome indeed. Before we put them together, I say we look at the figures up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super duper close up look and starting here with Doug. Now, as you can see there, he's got his flannel shirt on looking very cool. Kind of messy paint job, but hey, look, this is 16 years old. What do you want? Here's his hand looking very neat indeed. And then working our way up here to his face, you'll see his neck. And then there's his lips looking very cool. And then there's his eyes. And you know what? It's a lot better looking than I thought it would look up close, and that is pretty cool indeed. His hat looks amazing. They did every little detail on it. It's got his little earmuffs. Very cool. Working our way down his jacket. Like I said, it, the parka part of it, not the sleeves, but the parka part of it, is very, very uh, squishy on the back. So that's pretty cool indeed. Working our way down, you'll see his shoes. Very cool. Now let's turn the figure around, shall we? So here's the figure from the side kind of back view, I guess you could say. There's the top of his hat. Very cool. They were doing it long before South Park was, and that's pretty cool. And they, here's the hood of his jacket. Very cool. Yeah, this part right back here is the squishy part, as you can see. And then here's his chair looking very cool. You can see the little stitching and everything. Very neat indeed. Awesome. Next! Next up, we have Bob McKenzie with his red flannel shirt working our way up here. You'll see he's got a t-shirt on underneath there. There's the Rick Moranis mouth. Very cool. And then his... Look, they even got his eye color right. That is awesome. That is very cool indeed. There's his hair. There's his Canada hat. Very cool. Or his toque, as you want to say, from, from the albums and the <laughs> CTV thing. That's pretty cool. And then working our way down his jacket. You'll see here he's got his hand. It looks like he should be holding a beer. And over here he's pointing at something. What's he pointing at? Maybe himself. I don't know. He's wondering who's the key master. I don't know, or the gatekeeper. I don't know who. He's the key master. But anyways, very cool. There's his shoes. Looking very neat indeed. Now let's turn him around. So here's the back of his toque. Looking very cool indeed. His hair. He's got some shaggy hair there in the back. There's the back of his hood. Very cool. He's got the fur-lined collar. Very neat. There's the back of his jacket. And then the back of his chair, which is exactly the same as the other. And that is awesome. So I say it's time to take all these accessories and put them together. What do you say? First off, we take the set piece of the stage there and we put it together the way it looks like it would go together. Like this. Beauty, eh? Check that out. It's all done. And I think it's pretty awesome. Anyways, let's move on. Next up, we take the little uh, backdrop thingamabobber and we put it together like this. So now we've got the stage and the backdrop put together. That is pretty awesome indeed. Next, the table just pops together like that. Or should I say like this, and that looks pretty cool too. And here's a neat thing about the table. Check this out. The legs of the table are collapsible. They're on little hinges so they can collapse. That is pretty awesome indeed. So if you collapse them, you can have what the table's supposed to look like. Otherwise, you can just have individual tables. So that's pretty neat that they gave you extra legs. So if you didn't have both figures, you'd have a little table. That is pretty cool. Now, the instructions show that the beer can also go into the little, uh, 
the uh, ice box or ice chest thingamabobber, but it's not really clear if it's the big ones or the little ones. The little ones seem to fit better, but be very careful because you don't want to rub the stickers off, you know, shoving them into the ice because it's kind of a tight fit. But that's pretty cool. And of course, beer bottles can go into Bob and Doug's hands, and that's pretty neat too. Now you cannot tell me that that does not look awesome. Check that out. And I have to say, while putting all the little accessories out, I kept finding more and more. I kept thinking, wow, that's a lot of beer on the table, but then I started finding more and more bottles everywhere. Check that out. Now, with all the stuff that they have, I mean, look at all that beer everywhere. Holy cow, man. But with all the stuff that they have, I have to say, I noticed a few things on the back of the package. Now, although it looks very similar, like I said, this one obviously has way more beer boxes. Now, I'm happy with the amount of beer boxes I have, but if you look down here at the very bottom of the table, it looks like a Canadian book or something is sitting there. And then there's that little Mountie statue on the uh, table. Now, that stinks, plus there's more donuts and stuff like that. There's a little mug over there that looks like a little head or something. Uh, or whatever. What I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just a... I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a can. I don't know. But seriously, I mean, I wish it would have came with all these other accessories. Now, not that I'm complaining, because look at this. This table's full, man. I don't know what else to do with it, you know, seriously. So, you know, I know they did that as a cost-saving thing, probably, and this was the uh, promo, you know, shot, the promotional figure or whatever, whatever it's called, prototype. And, uh, you know what, I understand. But, yeah, I really wish, out of all this stuff, I do wish it came with that little mouse. Because, like I said, the little mouse is nowhere to be seen, and that sort of stinks. But honestly, I have no complaints about these figures and this display. This looks awesome. Now, I'm probably going to glue most of these accessories down, you know, organize them in a way that it looks good. Not like this. This is kind of haphazard. But uh, that's the way they're set look, so I guess it's going to look something like this. Especially like those bottle caps, because those can be lost so easily. But yeah, I'm going to probably super glue everything down. That way it doesn't move, and I'll have a nice little statue of them, and that looks awesome. It looks very cool indeed. So, there's my very lengthy review of the 2000, uh, what is it, uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie McFarlane figure set, which uh, has nothing to do with the movie Strange Brew. It doesn't say it on the package, but hey, we know what movie it's from. And plus, you know, the SCTV skits and stuff like that. And it looks awesome. I absolutely love this. It's neat to have the little display. That looks amazing. So yeah, if you watch this whole review, hey, good on you. Because you know what? I didn't think it would be this long, but jeez, look at all that stuff it comes with. I guess it had to be. So until next time, tune in for more. Foo Reviews! <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, God! Come on, Fuzzbuck, help me out here! There's a lot of beer boxes. We gotta get through this. Come on! Oh, jeez! Ah, oh, I don't know what we're gonna do with all these. Darn you, McKenzie Brothers!